enchanté. Hello and welcome back to my little space on the internet. My name is Sam if you are new here and I like to create videos that document my creative pursuits as well as the things that I experience in real life. This is a bit of an impromptu vlog that I'm doing because I actually completely anticipated on going to my 9 to 5 today. However, essentially the reason why I am home today on this fabulous Wednesday is because I've come into contact with someone who had first um, hand exposure to someone else that uh, tested positive for COVID. So I ultimately cannot go back into my office until my family member who had this first hand exposure tests negative. So I'm waiting for this family member to get their results back and then we'll go from there as to when I can go back into my work. But in the meantime, um, I am home and sorry Murphy is being so silly. And I thought with this extra time that I have, um, it would be really good to get back into vlog making because you guys know that I love doing that and I just woke up probably like an hour ago I had to run to Safeway and get some um, coffee creamer so I'm looking looking a little rough today but I think it would be fun to take you along and just sort of get some stuff done around the house and also do some self-care bits that I wouldn't normally be doing because, like I said, you know, I anticipated on being at work today. So I think this is a good time to just focus on me and I thought I would bring you along with me. run it was really hard it was the first run I've done in several several weeks or months potentially so it was really hard as you can see I'm like very red in the face and um, now I'm just sitting in my car I like to take a little bit of time um after my runs to journal when i first moved home like a year ago i liked to sit in my car and journal um a lot specifically after i went on runs and um it's sort of just like a theme that has that has stayed with me sorry i'm like out of breath 
<laughs> but um, yeah, it's kind of late now. I'm losing my light. It's 4.55 and uh, the sun sets pretty, pretty early. I was going to say late. The sun sets pretty early um, nowadays, but I'm going to do a little quick journal and then um, head home to make some dinner. parents bedroom <laughs> the best light in the house fortunately my room gets terrible light for filming so um I do a lot of filming here in my parents room they like rent their room out to me as a studio a few times a week no I'm just kidding <laughs> they're just really nice and let me use their film their room to film wanted to show you guys some cool little bits that I got from the thrift store. I got these a few weeks ago, I think, um, and it was just like a little mom and pop thrift store near my house. And I got some really cool stuff, which I'm pretty sure all have been owned previously by just like little old ladies, but I'm totally okay with that because I think that there's a lot of things that I think there's a lot of style that is coming back. <laughs> One of them being like the wardrobe of, of little old ladies. So the first little thing I got was this number, which is this cute little blue. It's kind of hard to see in this, in this sunlight. There's a lot of different light happening right now. So hopefully 
um, you can sort of see what I'm showing you. But this is the uh, the sweater that I got, and I'll either insert a video clip or a photo that I took on Instagram showing you how I styled it. But I really love how this is. An oversized sweater that I can tuck in easily and also I like wearing it sometimes not tucked in so I'll wear like thinner legging type pants and um, this is great because it's long enough to cover my butt and I'll wear it recently I've been wearing it with some like really cool suede boots and it's just been really really cozy especially now that it's getting colder I've also had several people tell me when I wear the sweater like how good it looks on me like this color um, apparently looks really good with my blonder hair and um, my skin tone I guess so really loving that color and that sweater the second little thing I found was this cute little flowy top it's a little bit big but again I like tucking it in and I know I definitely have a photo on my Instagram that I can show you of me wearing this top, but I think the color is just beautiful. It's like this emerald green color, which is unique. It sort of has these like black little specks mixed throughout the fabric, which tells me that black dye was, was included in the making of this shirt, which I think is cool because it gives it some dimension to the green but again I've worn this both tucked in and not tucked in and I think it uh, looks cute either way I think oversized stuff is really in and flattering right now which is so great because I love anything oversized and then the last little piece that I got is this beautiful bright red well not not like Christmassy red though there's like I mean, it may look a little Christmassy red on camera right now, but in real life, it's more of like a pink red. It has pink undertones to it for sure. And um, it has these really beautiful black roses, or I'm not really sure what kind of flowers they are, but just like flower prints um, all throughout. And then there's also some like sheerness in the petals of the roses see how you can sort of see through that so I think this is such a cool shirt and it's like a cute little button up with three quarter length sleeves and um I did a skin by Sam oops I did a skin by Sam on my stories of me wearing this top and it was super super pretty and flattering and so those are the couple of little items that I picked up second hand um I highly recommend shopping secondhand, um, especially this holiday season. It's a great way to save money. And like I said, a lot of things that are trendy and cool right now and that are in style um, are pieces that a lot of people are getting rid of and donating to thrift stores and stuff. So you can easily um, go and find like quality pieces for very cheap. Um, I think I spent a total of $15 collectively on these three items together. So yeah, that's my little mini thrift haul for you. What? I already spoke, you gotta start over. Oh, okay. My mom has been collecting, my glasses look funny because there's reflection happening, but I wanted to show you guys my mom's village that she has been collecting for multiple de decades now, probably what two de two decades three decades how long have you been yeah 1995 1995 oh my gosh so it's sort of been this thing that she has collectively added to over the years and would you say it's complete now mom it's never complete. It's never, really? <laughs> I mean you don't really have much more space no to... dad would have to build more shelves yeah so anyways, I wanted to show you guys and take you along and have my mom sort of give us like a guided village <coughs> a guided village tour. So here is a pan of the entire village. It's pretty long. My dad built this shelving that you see here and he installs it and uninstalls it every single year. 
So this comes down, comes up around this time of year, and it's supported by that beam right there. Okay, so now let's dive in. Take it away, Mom. So every village has to have a tree farm, and this is Nick's tree farm, and uh, he works very hard delivering yes. those trees. <laughs> yes. And then one of my newer pieces is the tent trailer, which um, zoom in on that. Just Excuse reminds me of my siblings, so it's yeah. It, it, it has a place in my heart. Yeah, we go camping a lot, so a tent trailer is meaningful to us. And then here's the first resident of the village, and I do not remember what this house is called. So this resident right here? The, the home. No, but the, the resident. Oh yeah, he's chopping wood. Yeah. And then, and then this is his house? Yeah. And then you also have a little car. So this is like a little road that we have along the whole village right so all throughout you'll see cars and vehicles so then moving over to the next house is the neighbors and i don't know the name of that house either i don't remember the homes but the the brand is department 56 the snow village collection yeah and then the next piece is the skate and ski shop and that wait was... wait wait let's start over so to point out that little lady right there well they're supposedly digging the car out of the snow and she's panicked like most moms are mm -hmm. <laughs> did you just do that yeah okay perfect and then this piece is my skate and ski shop and this was my very first piece really yes yeah oh. and i bought that in florida it was dean's parents who introduced me to this village they took me to a town in florida that was had all these Christmas stores and one was all the Department 56 villages and I just fell in love. I fell in love with this one because it was the most modern. Mm -hmm. so, so then she has this little like reflective. It's supposed to be the eye. The eyes. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just showing how like yeah. you made it. There was yeah. this little reflective piece of, what, what, it, what kind of material is that? It's like a foil. Yeah. It's like a thick. Looks like a mirror. For, and then yeah, she exactly. added like snow around to create like the illusion of a s ice rink and the next house is the 2000 house it was for the millennium the year 2000 that's the address and it's very um more detailed mm -hmm. than the rest of the homes and it's um, bigger it's probably the biggest house yeah that you own yeah i like the villages because you can see into the houses my brother-in-law teased me because the people are not proportioned correct, correctly to the homes. <laughs> they're, they're just as right. big as the homes. You probably can't this really... It's a good laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and then some pieces like that slide, that's just Michael's um, brand. We just thought it was cute and we added to it. Mm -hmm. The trees, I think, were Michael's brand. Those lighted trees back there. Mm -hmm. Then there's the daycare. Every village needs a daycare. So, so they can drop their kids off because they must work. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have the combination police department and donut shop. So cops don't have to go too far. Is that them. connected actually? Yes, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. And then we also have puppies for sale. Yeah. Right. Let me zoom back out. And they lost dog digging in the garbage can looking for food. Hold on, I can't seem to. There we go. Puppies for sale. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No and littering. Then, and then the uh, pizza parlor. And leaning pizza. Yeah. And the delivery person. Mm-hmm. Delivery Uber. car. Uber for Department 56. <laughs> I mean, our, what do you call it? DoorDash? DoorDash, yeah. And then a hospital. A little Christmas tree Yeah. on top. So yeah, I would like to expand because I think we need a church. Mm -hmm. And McDonald's. Village just, News Van. Oh yeah. I fell in love with McDonald's, so I had to buy it. I thought it was very vintage. Tell them about... Was this the one that you 
broke and then rebought or no, something? No, that was oh. the dime. I think you can see in there. They even have a Starbucks Village piece. They do? They have very modern... Uh, Department 56? I think they might have a Krispy Kreme, too. Village so, sanitation. Yes, you gotta be able to get rid of your trash. Trash. Then you have a the Coca Cola bottling company. Little billboard. Yeah. I like the bottling company. And then she's selling tickets to I don't know what. But that's what she's doing. Oh. Wait, start over there, She's selling tickets to the, I'm not it's sure why. Maybe tourist, there's a movie theater. Tourist information. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, this is a right. little employee from the Coca Cola bottling yeah. company. The loading deck dock. And, and then, then you gotta have a gas station. Yeah. Oh, Murphy. Oh my gosh. Murphy just made the whole village flicker. And the Holly Brothers Garage Gas Station. They come station. out and service your car. Do you see the sky, the attendants? Mm -hmm. And then Dinah's driving. And that's a funny story because I used to hang lights on it with some wax uh, museum putty. And then it got dirty, so I tried to wash it and then I broke it. Which part? Dinah's driving. The top part. The like hamburger part? The roof. And so oh. I cracked it. So that was my first introduction to eBay because I got on eBay and bought a new one. Cause I loved it mm. so much and it came with the cars it, it comes with the cars to park in front well, why is it called Dinah's drive-in because you drive up you park your car they come out to your car take oh. your order because drive-in to me is like a movie theater yeah they were drive-in movie or diners back then oh. back in the day I didn't know that and then that tree I bought that tree so years cute. ago at the Montgomery Wards Mall where the Dome Theater oh was. Oh my gosh. And they were having a, uh, oh, they yeah. did arts, a Christmas craft fair every mm. year. And I bought that from some lady and I just fell in love with it. Really? Yes. Yeah, so I added it to my village. Mm -hmm. So it's not all it. completely Department 56. So this is the corner market and it has a pharmacy and a fountain mm -hmm. shop. You can go in there and buy soda fountain, you know, sodas. And that's the other Coca-Cola guy taking a break but delivering to the market. Yeah. And Sammy had the clever idea. I always put it at the end, but she had the clever idea of adding a tree there and a fence. And I think it looks really cute. And the phone cute. booth. And every village needs a phone booth. Because mm -hmm. no one here has a cell phone. Look, I didn't even notice there was a wreath. Yeah, we could turn it actually. Yeah. So it's like this. Cute. That looks good. But then you can't see. Yeah, right there. All right. They're the official start of our most expensive look of electricity. Then you turn your lights off. Please. Please me. <laughs> That's dad's right. two cents. Dad likes the electrical bill. <laughs> anyway, um, I do have five more pieces of the Warner Brothers Christmas Village. Oh, yeah. And it's Looney Tunes characters. And it's just as fragile and just as beautiful. But it's all Looney Tunes. And I used to put it on our piano, and we got rid of the piano. We donated the piano. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't been up in years, but one of these years we're going to... It's cute. It's got a movie theater, a library. What does it have? A fire station, a Scooby-Doo fire Aww. station. Really, really cute. I bet we could put it here on this. We'd have to extend it. No, on this thing right here. Yeah, it'd be a little tight fit. Yeah. It'd be a very tight fit. We'd have to move the manger. Yeah. But it's really Which cute. Which you could put the manger here. Yeah. And then put the Warner Brothers village here. Because there's only five pieces. I figure five houses. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to be a tight. Oh. Tight knit oh. city. Yeah. Well, this one, this is a tight knit city. It is. It is, is there anybody that we missed? Um, like people. Oh my gosh. Are we even pointing out Ronald McDonald? Oh yeah, Ronald. There's Ronald. Oh my gosh, uh, Murphy what's going is. On with your, oh, Murphy's hitting the lighting thing. Murph. Always she getting in trouble. She it off. Oh, no. How'd she do that? I don't know how she does anything. We love Murphy. Not. And then, Mom, you forgot to point out Santa. Mark's going to do that next. Santa is. He's always on the. I always put him on the hospital because I always think he's delivering toys to the sick children. Mm -hmm. Aww. How are you doing? No. No, they're not on. What 
Where's the switch in Ants Club? What? Um, Going on remote control. Did she? Mm. We're waiting for the light. It's not good. I mean, I don't think she unplugged the remote over there, right? No. She was over here. She did something over there. She like there. ran by it and yeah, it flickered. Yeah, it flickered. Yeah, well, plug the remote and turn it on. It's not, I don't know. Okay. Oh. Maybe she triggered it. Come on, we need one more. One more big shot lit up. I'm gonna turn the light off. There it's on, it's on. Oh, okay, hold on. Ta-da! There it is. Dad, gotta get out of the way. Village Tour 2020. Looking good. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Enchanté. <laughs>